you want to play the game, finally enjoy GTA 5, but is not working. It's just crashing and it's not launching. That's the problem, and it's very painful and very annoying. I can completely relate with you. But in this video, I'll try my best to help you. From my own experience, I gained a couple of um, method that I know can uh, fix this problem. I can't guarantee you, but uh, hopefully. Uh, one of these methods will fix your problem, will fix a GTA 5 not launching issue that's very annoying because instead of just enjoying the game, you have to uh, look for a way to fix this problem. But this is the method I have for you. Make sure you try all of them and let me know in the comment section if it worked. And also if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for daily tutorials. And now let's jump right into the video without wasting any second. So what you have to do is to press on your keyboard Windows logo plus S and now here in the search bar make sure you write graphic settings, okay? Uh, now click on the best match and here what you have to do is to look for GTA 5 and if you kind of find it in this list what you have to do is simply to uh, add the game from this browse right here browse click on browse and you can add gta 5 now obviously uh, gta 5 it might be located in a totally different location than uh, no where i added where i download the gta 5 so just download uh, just click there and on the download block browse and add the game and here just after you add a GTA 5, you click on the game and click on options and click here, select here high performance, okay? Select your GPU. And now the next method, after, if that didn't work, make sure you try now this method and go to, to display adapters, expand display adapters and right click update browse. Let me pick and here make sure you select your drivers, click on next and make sure you update. Now I have another uh, way to fix uh, the third method if that didn't work. Make sure you try this method as well. Okay, and here what you have to do uh, is to all leave all the links, the four links in the description of this video and why I'm suggesting the reason behind why you have to check these links is because usually these problems with crashing with the game not launching properly are due to the fact are caused or are caused by uh, you not updating your drivers. That's at least from my own experience. Um, I can't say for sure, but that's from my own experience, as I said. So if you are an AMD user, make sure you click on this and install um, driver AMD, drive auto detect and install for Windows. This will identify, I uh, just look if you have any updates uh, drivers they're not up to date and will do all the work for you now if you are amd nvidia user sorry just click on this link and click on the download button this tool this utility tool is very awesome because it will look as as for as the amd driver will look for any drivers that you have on your computer and are not or don't have the latest version and it will just update all of them a very good tool and now this is very important microsoft visual c plus plus is very important to increase uh, FPS sorry increase FPS just to uh, make the work make the game work properly so now just click on here x64 click on it just install this it's very easy just in, is there a very easy process to install this um, Windows Visual C++ and now the next tool is direct as end user runtime web installer this just click on here download and uh, that's what you have to do now the next step a lot of people aren't doing this is to go to windows update and you might say well, i have to install update my windows I, it's simple i haven't i already have done this but it's not this it's important to check your windows and install the latest version that's for sure but what you have to do is to click on advanced options and here in optional update here you should have driver updates and you should you should see here a bunch of a, a huge list of updates of drivers sorry that you have to install and download and install okay just check 
and then click on download and install all right make sure you're doing this as well and now the next method what you have to do now is very simple is just to uh, let me know in the comment section if this video worked if uh, let me let me know your comment your, your thoughts in the comment section i would really like to know if this worked and thank you for watching make sure you subscribe for more tutorials i really appreciate it. thank you and, and take care guys